West Durham Ironheads at home taking on the Nepean Knights. Iheads looking to start their season 5-1. First period, Jack Boyden fires wide and Bryce Keats picks up the rebound, goes right by the defender and scores, making it 1-0 Ironheads. 2-1 Knights still in the first and Kyle Robson finds a cutting Mike Berger who shows his quick stick and ties the game for West Durham. Kyle Robson again with the ball at the top of the circle and fires an absolute laser beam tying the score back up at three. James Christopheratos decides to drop the gloves with Nathan Woods. Comes in with a strong right hook and another and connects with another right hook, keeps firing with the right, relentless, keeps firing, decides he's had enough, spins him around, the refs call that one. Second period and Iron Heads trail 5-3 here. Jackson Raposo gets the ball and snipes through a tight gap, putting the Iron Heads within one. Now Bryce Keats and Jordan Hendricks decide to go. Keats ducks, ducks again, then throws a huge right. Comes back, a huge uppercut, and Hendricks was just dummied by that. Keats throws him to the ground. Jordan Hendricks readjusting his jaw after that vicious uppercut. Now Jackson Raposo feeds it over to Dylan Tillette. Tillette backs down his defender and puts him in a spin cycle. He scores, making it 7-6 for the Knights. Mike Berger passes it to Tillette, who once again will spin and score, tying the game at seven. In the third, Ironheads behind 10-7. Dylan Tillette passes to Jack Boyden to Keegan White, who scores some beautiful ball movement there. Last minute of play, and Jack Boyden cuts to the net and beats a sprawling Knights goalie, making it a one goal game, 10 to nine. Dying seconds of the third, Keegan White picks it up and fires it, but can't get it past the Knights goalie. Eye heads fall, 10-9 the final. The fact that we got a couple guys kicked out of the game as well for, for fighting. Um, some guys were battling some bumps and bruises, so I definitely think fatigue was uh, a factor in this one, but it's not an excuse. These guys played a, a hard, tough game against Newmarket, and so they were tired too, and it just looked like they wanted it more. We, we played well, and you know we had some bounces, didn't get other bounces, but really, like if we had two, three more guys, you know, we might have had the legs to pull it through. I, mean, I, I can't lack the offense effort because they were getting to the middle, they were moving the ball well. It's just a matter, like you said, the ball just wasn't sinking for us tonight.